isn't so important. Hello friends, I'm glad to have you guys here today. I decided to do my very first voiceover. And I'm starting off with some watercolor paper here and a graphite pencil, which was a 6B. And I'm drawing out some lips here. Started with the lips, odd place to start, but that was my inspiration. Um, anyways, when I saw how she had her lips, I wanted to do this picture. So this is my sketch of Marilyn Monroe in the movie or maybe um, just doing the Photoshop or photo whatever for the movie of I believe Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. So here I'm just kind of sketching up my face and and I have the diamond uh, necklace across over her, her, her lips, above her lips, between her lips and nose, that area. And yes, yeah, so I'm just kind of sketching that in and wanted to make this kind of like a pop art piece. So I was starting kind of with my, mm, what, you know, graphite, white, black and white kind of colors and then added some acrylics later. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using my Durant water brush. It's a number three, um, the largest one I have. And I didn't bother like, you know, changing my brush. I just used it on the angle. It's got a flat edge on it. If I wanted to do a thinner line, like on the eyelashes, I used the thin, use an angle and whatever. If I wanted, like what I'm doing in the hair now, I use it thicker on the thicker angle. So just like you're using a flat brush. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm kind of getting the base of my drawing down now or my sketch and playing with it. And I have tons of black and white sketches and then after I started playing with it I decided I wanted to add, do the pop art type of design and uh, want to add that, that pop of color. So just sketching the cheeks and all the shading and I wasn't really careful with the fingers I don't have quite the shape there are my, my most my attention was more on the face and that kind of thing and that's where I was going with that hoping you guys can hear me very well I guess this is gonna be my first test <laughs> but yeah I had fun with it did little circles on there my water brush circled the little uh, with my little uh, graphite pencil there, actually fairly big graphite pencil, but it works really well. And just to get some less graphite on there, I was just like painting off, picking up graphite from with my watercolor there, and just throwing it on my paper. Yeah, so just kind of mostly want to concentrate on the face, but I just kind of did a little bit of a Outs, you know, a little bit of a frame around it, a little bit there with her hands and her hair and that, but I was mostly wanting to do, worry about her, her face and how the diamonds kind of sat there. Her eyelashes were really important to me, so I had to, uh, you know, redo those after, but sh with the graphite, but it all worked out. Um, after I do this graphite, I do spray, and I'll show you in the video hereafter, I do spray with some Americana acrylic finish sealer, and that just seals in the graphite so then I can use wet on it again with the acrylic and not spread any gray or black or whatever from the graphite. So that's just the way I kind of protect it so then I can play with it and add more layers. And I'm just kind of working on the lips now. And I kind of wish I would have left them really huge and luscious. I kind of just made them a tad smaller after, I think. Well, a little bit. But, eh. You look at it now and you're like, oh, I like that. Why did I change that? But, whatever. It was just playing with it and having fun with it. And being creative. This is not a piece that's going to be going anywhere. It's just a piece that, you know, playing and practicing, that's how you get better. So I'm adding a little bit of shading under her eyelash there. Now I'm adding a watercolor pencil, and that's the red. And it's, I don't think it's any special brand. Let's see, what was it? And either was Royal. 
No, we had a, I think it was a no-name brand. Let's see. No, it's a Durant. Sorry, it's a Durant watercolor pencil. And I have a jelly pen there, and I was just trying to see if I wanted to um, pop up some of the diamonds in her necklace. Didn't like that, so I decided to... That's when I said a full-blown um, acrylic kind of popper. I was going to go the whole way. May as well play with it and see what I can learn and, and have fun with that. So I'm using the white acrylic, and this is acrylic from Deco Art, and it's really um, premium acrylic paint. And it comes in the tubes like I showed you there. So I'm using the red, cadmium red hue right there. And adding just a little bit of a pink hue on her face. I didn't want it to be realistic. This is more of a pop art, so I want it to be exactly like that. Where it's just like exactly like I showed you that acrylic paint spray paint and you're wondering I'm thinking oh yeah they're gonna wonder why it's not smearing it's because I have spray on there and it's a matte finish so it's so I can paint on there really well yeah so I wanted didn't want to look realistic I wanted to have that pop art feel so that's why I went with the the pink the red and with the white act adding the, the pink and purple hues and the blue and the yellow so the blue I'm using is ultramarine, ultramarine blue in the same um, premium Deco Art Americana acrylic paint. And I'm using that in my shadow areas and some of the, on her shoulder there that I'm painting right now, adding some of the red and paint, to making it purpley pink. And just playing with layers of color just to add some depth. And like I said, I wasn't really paying attention to the hand and all that kind of stuff. I was mostly trying to make her face the most important part there. Whitening up the nose uh, above the eyelashes, above the brow and the nose, um, bridge of the nose, her chin. The parts that really got to stick out. And I also eventually kind of brighten up her cheekbones. And yeah, so highlight above the lip and stuff like that. And it's still got some pink in there. Right now the light's very bright, so it looks quite white. But there is still a lot of pink popping out. It's just not as pink as what the cheeks are right now in there. The pink hue or the red hue coming through the white. So it's really nice. Now there I go working on the cheeks and kind of highlighting that. So it was I really enjoyed this one and thought I'd play with more maybe different um, celebrity, celebrity faces <laughs> and uh, play with this pop art type of idea. I really like it. This is where I go back in with the same graphite. Um, I used the 6B and I'm darkening up her eyebrows and her eye um, lashes. I didn't want to go with a hard black with this one. I just wanted to stay with the graphite. Now I'm just painting in some highlights with the white on her lips to make them more full. And now I've got the, the primary yellow and I'm going to be doing that with her blonde hair and just kind of giving you the, the pop in her hair there. And that's again the Deco Art Americana Premium Acrylic Paint in the Tube. And I really like these. These are nice and thick. You can see that blue hasn't run anywhere. It's the same, that primary blue on the plate. So, and I, in fact, I used some water in it to act, make it act like a watercolor. Because on paper, it doesn't matter. You can add water to paint on watercolor paper. So, not so much on a canvas. So, I used the back of my. my um, paintbrush here and I'm dabbing circles trying to make the, the diamonds around the, the rope of diamonds basically and a little bit of blue over top of that to show that they're diamonds. I didn't go into detail with this I was just kind of playing with it with, and um, yeah give you the the feel that that's what's going on there kind of abstract and now I'm just adding a little bit more blue around her face for shading and I'm going to shade in with the um, the pencil again the uh, graphite 6B I just did my name there in that and wet it I'm doing that just around the diamonds her lips and you know around the face a little bit more in all the places I thought it needed to be darkened up
And that is about it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this and hope this voiceover worked well for you and you can hear it. Thank you guys for joining me. This is hopefully a fun little thing, um, playing with a voiceover. Um, it makes it a little bit easier when life gets busy and you have lots of background noise. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed my pop art, mixed media pop art Marilyn, and um, hopefully you get some more done. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Yeah, that was a fun one. So, see you guys later. Bye.